Hey makers, Jess here with Scripting Green. I wanted to hop on here really quick to show you how easy it is to create a scalloped border using Lightburn. Now last year I did this with a newborn baby milestone photo prop and I kind of just did like a cutout around the inside design. I'll link that here as well for you, but just for the purpose of this video and keeping it short, a quick scalloped edge is sometimes all you need to make your design pop a little bit more. So here I have a trending arch shape. I'm going to be creating a sign, so that's why the circle is here. But this arch shape right here is what I thought would look a little bit better with a scalloped edge. So I'm going to click it on my MacBook. I'm going to hit Command D in order to duplicate it. And then I'm going to change the layer. By turning off the output of the original layer, I'm preserving it. But I can also stay focused on the new green layer here. From here, with the arch shape highlighted or selected, you're going to come down to the bottom left side of the screen and click on Set Shape Start Point. And as you can see, the nodes will show and there's an arrow pointing to where the starting point of the path will be that you're going to want your scalloped edge to go around. So that is activated here, but the next thing you're going to want to do is create that scalloped shape. Scalloped shapes are roughly like a circle, so I'm going to use the circle feature to create that circle and I'm going to stretch it out a little bit so it has more of that oval or elongated look. And from there, if you're used to using Lightburn, then you know as you hover over a path, the cursor changes to show when you are over a node, which is such a useful feature here. Okay, so now you should have your circle on the starting point of your path with your circle selected first, just like as it would when you're using the Boolean feature or the weld features over here. You're going to select your shape and then the path that you want it to go around. You are going to go to arrange, copy along path, and this is where the magic happens. The number of copies, I'm just going to continue to go up, 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 up until they ever so slightly touch so that I know roughly what the scalloped edge will look like. Now, as you can see, this looks a little funky. In this copy along path dialog box, you want to activate rotate copies so that the oval isn't staying in an oval shape all the way up and down, but it's actually turning with the path and going in the direction of the path. All of them are touching here and it looks like they're connecting, so I'm going to hit OK. And then from there, just the original shape and the path are selected, so I am going to go to Edit, select all shapes in the current layer, and then your weld all selected shapes together should be able to be clicked on and voila just like that you have a beautiful scalloped edge on your design for you to be able to create a new item on. i hope this helped for more tips tricks and tutorial make sure you follow my tiktok page or subscribe to my youtube channel i'll have plenty of them there for you thanks for joining